The Gears of War franchise has been around for 14 years, and to say its effect on gaming is massive is an understatement. Gears wasn't afraid to try new things, with its amazing cover-based combat and some of the best graphics we've seen in a video game. Aside from all the accomplishments Gears of War had over the years, I'd say the biggest success Gears had was its effect on people. And with that, I'd like to welcome you back and talk about my experience with Gears of War. So back in the day, I played a lot of games, like a lot of games. From Zelda to Halo, every game I played really had a positive effect on me at one point or another. To say Gears of War is an exception would be a flat out lie. Gears of War to me is like a nice fine wine. It gets better and better with age. When I went back to play Gears 1 again for this video, it really brought me back. I remember the simpler time without the stress of work or responsibility, a time where I could just use my day however I liked. My first experience with Gears 1 was very interesting and almost by chance. For those who have watched my Dear Halo video, you might remember my friend Mike. For those of you who haven't, I will consider Mike one of my best friends. We grew up together gaming, lifting, and going through school. I would often spend my childhood at his house playing the original Xbox and doing all sorts of things. So let me paint a picture. The year is 2006, no worries in the world. I'm spending another day with Mike and his mom offers to take us to local sportsplex down the road. The sportsplex had actually just recently opened a little gaming room where you could pay $5 an hour to play. They had Xbox 360s, GameCubes, Playstations, you name it. Mike and I were obviously drawn to Xbox 360s being the newest console to come out around that time for us. So Mike's mom had given us $20 each so we had 4 whole hours to do whatever we wanted. We noticed a game called Gears of War sitting on top of the 360. Gears had just recently come out and the media was all over it. Us being very young at the time had no idea what we were about to get into. So we load up Gears of War and let me tell you, it was insane. It was the first time we had seen graphics that good for a game ever. The violence was awesome, especially, and I know everyone knows it, the Lancer Chainsaw. I remember the first time chainsawing a locust and popping off at this little sportsplex. We spent all day playing Gears of War 1. We actually were able to reach the part where you drive that massive truck at night and have to avoid krill. When I tell you, when I finally got back home, I did so many chores around that house, from mowing the lawn to cleaning toilets, I wanted Gears of War. After days and days of chores, I made just enough money to go to EB Games and buy Gears of War. When I first got it, I actually didn't play it right away. Even though G4 TV had almost 24-7 coverage on Gears, and shows like Cheat and X-Play would be giving out tips and guides for each level, I just did not play it yet. I watched G4 TV like it was my job, and it only hyped up Gears of War more and more for me. Finally, my time to play had arrived. I spent 14 hours a day grinding through Gears of War 1. I had gotten every collectible in the game and was able to beat hardcore mode solo. However, insane mode was just too much for me solo, but once I got Xbox Live, that's when Gears of War would take on a whole new look for me. Halo was my go-to Xbox Live game at the time, with thousands of hours invested in it. Gears of War probably took up a couple hundred of those hours. The thing with Gears of War and its multiplayer, it was hard. Like, very hard. I caught the hand so much online that I started to resent the damn game. I consider Gears to be one of the harder games to fully grasp and get good at. The movement, understanding of map control and crossing, and weapon mastery were just a few of the things you needed to learn to have a chance at the game online. Through the multiplayer though, I met some kids that lived in Canada. This was mind blowing to me because I'm 12 years old, essentially getting my first exposure to Canadian people, and man were they so nice. It was these two kids who were decent Gears of War, one of them who actually helped me beat the Gears of War campaign on Insane, so that was awesome. Another friend of mine, Joe, actually loved Gears of War 1. Joe was a neighbor of mine and we rode the same school bus so we got to play all the time. I remember spending a night grinding Gears achievements and actually finding a way to cheese the game pretty well. Overall, Gears of War 1 holds a special place in my heart. The base game has a lot of great memories, and even the remaster Ultimate Edition let me kind of relive through some of those good times again. It's a shame that Gears came right around the time Halo 3 came out, or it could easily be one of my favorite games of all time. I was 100% team Halo until a little game called Gears of War 2 came out. Gears of War 2. Is there much to really say about it? Like how they improved on every single mechanic the first game introduced and some? Gears of War 2 came out two years after the original release of Gears 1 and once again, its release was a media storm. I was in high school at the time, a freshman actually, and Gears 2 took over my school life. A kid in my class named Michael actually skipped two days of school when Gears of War 2 came out just to play it. That's how serious this game was. 
When I went to GameStop to pick up Gears of War 2, I honestly was not expecting that much. Like how much they could actually make the game better, and boy was I wrong. When I finally got to play it, I could not stop. This is one of the few times that my grades were affected by a video game. I would stay up till 4am every night, grinding, horde, warzone, execution, guardian, everything. Gears of War 2 introduced the horde mode, which was a constant wave of enemies with increasing difficulty every round. I played this for hours, for days with all my friends. It took over my life. I'm not sure why, but this mode had the ability to just keep drawing you back every single day. The campaign for Gears of War 2 was fantastic as well. Gears 2 was on a grander scale as opposed to Gears 1, and it felt like everything you did in the campaign had an effect on the people around you. They had new guns, new enemies, new maps, it was the whole package. My friends now play Gears of War 2 all the time. I have to say Gears of War 2 is my favorite in the franchise, and to this day, something about it just makes me happy. I don't know if it's the, the graphics that they introduced were just better, or the levels were great. I remember maps like River was amazing for Horde mode. It was just great. I love it. I definitely have to say Gears of War 2 is my favorite in the franchise. Jump ahead a few years to 2011, Gears of War 3. Around this time, a lot was going on in my life. My mom and I had to quickly pick up and move away with a few hours notice, and I was without a bed for a few months at our new house, so the couch and I became really good friends. During that time, I picked up Gears of War 3. I'll be honest, I enjoyed the game, it was just too colorful for me. I don't know, it just didn't have that same gritty look that Gears 1 and 2 had. Nitpicking aside, Gears of War 3 was great, with improved movement, even more guns, and crazier maps to play along with a ton of game modes. Gears of War 3 was a hell of a ride. Although Gears of War 2 is my favorite, Gears 3 sits really well with me. I played a lot, like a lot of Gears of War 3 multiplayer in high school and in college. A few of my friends, Dennis, Dima, Brad, Mitch, and Ivan, would play almost every single night at one point. Dima was a tryhard of the group, but we all had a blast leveling up and getting better. Other than that, Gears of War 3 kind of flew under your radar for me. Yes, I played it a ton with my friends, but at the same time, I was playing a ton of other games. I was transitioning from high school to college and dealing with my job and social life. I've replayed through Gears 1 and 2 plenty of times, but Gears 3 I've only played through just a handful of times. I feel like I should mention Gears Judgment, but man, I'm not sure what they were thinking with that game. Honestly, I don't hate the game. I didn't mind the story. I thought it was cool to see kind of the previous events. But, oh, man, they regressed with a ton of the gameplay mechanics. It almost didn't feel like a Gears of War game. But I won't go into that disaster, so let's move on. With Gears of War Judgment ultimately being Epic Games' last hurrah with the Gears franchise, Epic sold the franchise to Microsoft in 2014. The Coalition, essentially Microsoft's own Epic Games, took over the Gears IP. With new ownership, there was a hope for Gears. After the disaster of Judgment, and how that killed a lot of momentum the franchise had, I was especially excited for Gears of War 4. Gears of War 4 officially launched in 2016 the very good reception. I personally loved the game. The campaign was the strongest it's been since Gears of War 2, in my opinion, and dug deeper into the lore of the Gears franchise. Unfortunately, like many games coming out nowadays, I don't have the same time I did when I was younger. Gears 4 came during a time where I'd switch majors in college and had no idea where I was going in my life. I was a mess. When I could play, it was in short bursts, but even as seldom as I played, it was amazing. A few of my friends had also picked the game up and we grinded it when we could. Once again, the movement was improved, the art style was back to the gritty, war-torn look that we all love, and the gameplay was just simply fun. With all that said, Gears of War 4 fell off for me. I probably played it for a solid 3-4 to four months before dropping it entirely, but when I heard that Gears 5 was coming out, that same childhood excitement hit me once again. The thing I loved about Gears 5 was it took chances. Gears 5 had a more open world feel to it and lots of secrets to find throughout the levels. I completed the campaign fully co-op with Ivan and our friend Iggy. With Ivan and I being veterans of the game, Iggy had a lot of catching up to do. Gears 5 came out after I graduated college and got a full time job so I finally had time to play video games again. We played almost every night doing the campaign, the newly added hive mode, and multiplayer. All my friends actually played Gears 5 for a while, and then they all kind of stopped. 
every once in a while we'll get on to play a few rounds, but it's never like it used to be back in the day. But that's okay. We get older, life goes on. Well, that about wraps it up. Gears of War has always been such an awesome franchise, and I'm glad that I got to grow up with it at its best. I always remember all the good times, late nights, and the laughs I had with Gears, and hope for more in the future. Thanks for watching.